Your recent book starts out with some pretty sobering statistics. I think uh, one in three women, one out of every two men will get cancer. This has been a, a war on cancer for about 50 years now. Why are the numbers still like that? Well, the paradigm hasn't sh shifted whatsoever. So actually the rates of cancer probably, they say one out of two men and about 41% of females, but that is like growing every day. I mean, I don't think we're even really accurately assessing the growing rates of cancer. Mm -hmm. And now the amount of young people getting cancer is, is exponentially rising. Mm -hmm. And so it is the number one killer from one to 85 years of age. And we, Nixon declared war on cancer in 1970. The cancer rates have dramatically increased. The cancer survival has not changed one bit because all we're doing is we're attacking the cancer, creating war on cancer, instead of supporting the entire body systems in a global way, whole body healthcare, which is what is needed for any chronic illness. And so we're, if we do surgery, that's injurious. If we do chemo, that's injurious. If we do radiation, that's injurious. And the National World Health Organization says that the, the causes of all chronic diseases are eating and lifestyle. But what practitioner, doctor or elsewise, you know, discusses what people eat and their lifestyle. Now lifestyle is one of those all encompassing topics. It's, you know, what you think, how you live every day, you know, do you sleep, do you exercise, how much water, how much stress, what is your life like on a daily basis? And so that's where you must begin when you see a patient is first of all establishing that rapport and that partnership with the patient so you can truly understand why they are in the condition they are in.